What's up, everyone? My name is Colby, or as I'm better known as on Twitch, Instagram, and here on YouTube, Serial Killer. Uh, thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate you checking out the video, checking out the channel. If this is your first time, welcome. If this is your not your first time, uh, welcome back. Thank you for coming back by and checking out the video. I hope this one's done a little bit better than the last one was, and in this video, I am putting together Griff Oberwald from the Imperial Nobility team, the Bogenhofen Barons, I believe is how it's said, and he is actually the star player. Now, I know a lot of people have had said they have had problems putting the uh, hawk or eagle, whatever you want to call it, on his arm. I really didn't have a lot of problem with that. My problem was getting his head in the helmet. So I kind of changed up the way that that was done, but it wasn't until after I had already put the head on. So I tried to fix that in the video, and so there's going to be just a little bit of difference there, so I apologize with that. They actually had you putting the head on the shoulders and then putting the helmet on later. I found it easier to go ahead and put the head in the helmet and then put the uh, helmet on to the model. But besides that, everything else is straight from the instructions that are given with this. So uh, with that being said, I really hope you like the video. Please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Uh, that way you know when the next videos are coming out. I will do the next uh, video will be for the other star uh, player that is in the set. And that is going to be for the other team. And so I will be doing that one next. Uh, I have decided to split those up because they are bigger models and there is more to them. So again, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think about the channel. Let me know what you would like to see, what you'd like to see done differently. And um, yeah, just let me know what you think of it. So with that, uh, with that being said, let's just go ahead and jump into the video. And so to get started, let's go ahead and take a look again at the different tools we will be using. We have our sprue clippers. We also have our mold line remover. And like I said in the last video, this thing is amazing. If you don't have one, I highly recommend getting one. It is a fantastic tool and it works better than a regular I call them X-Acto knives. Um, it's a lot safer. It's not sharp at all, so uh, you don't have to worry about cutting yourself um, or really injuring yourself with it. We're also going to be using super glue. I like to use the Loctite Ultra Gel Control. That way it doesn't run. Um, it sits really quick. And we also have our Army Painter files. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the models that we will be putting together today. And to start off, I will go ahead and kind of explain this really quickly, kind of like I did in the last video. If you look on the sprues, each piece has a different number uh, next to it. So right here, you've got number one um, and then number three. And it looks like it can be kind of confusing on putting these together, but these numbers actually correspond to the picture in the how to assemble guide. So as you can tell, you've got number one, which is going to be the number one right here, and then number two, so that's gonna be here, and those two will go together. So um, instead of going back and forth from the, rule, the instruction manual, I'm just gonna read off the numbers and we can cut them off and put it together. So with that being said, let's go ahead and cut off and clean up the pieces one, two, seven, and eight. And now that we have those pieces cut out and cleaned up, we can go ahead and take uh, piece number one and piece number two, and let's go ahead and dry fit those together. And just like I said in the last video, it's always best to dry fit your pieces before you glue them so you can make sure there are no extra gaps in the, uh, I guess you could call it where the pieces connect or the connections uh, between pieces. So once that is set to where you like it, go ahead, take your glue, 
and glue it together. Once those two pieces are put together, you're going to grab piece number seven, which is going to be the foot that has the little extension right there on the end of it. So what you're going to do is take this and you are going to fit it to where it goes right into the connection at the bottom uh, of the torso. So when you get that in there, how you feel it's supposed to be and it feels comfortable to you, go ahead and glue it together. And now for the last piece of this part of putting a griff together. So you're gonna take the leg, which is number eight, and as you can see, there is a little groove here on the other leg that we just put in, and then there's a little groove there. So what I like to do is I will put the model, the leg on the model, and I will turn it until I feel it kind of hit that little connection, and then I will glue it right there once I feel like it is in place. So when you feel comfortable, go ahead and glue the leg on. And with that done, we have most of the body for Griff done. So now we are going to put his head and his arms on. As you can tell, that is going to be piece number three, piece number nine, and piece number 10. So go ahead, cut those off, clean them up, and we will glue them to Griff. So I'm going to change something up from what the directions have in here. They do not really work very well, and I have broken off these two pieces because of it. Um, it has these two pieces being put on last and the head being put on at the very beginning. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the helmet and the head on together, and then I'm going to put it all on the top of the body. So go ahead, let's go ahead and try it like that and see what happens. As you can tell, that worked a lot better. So I would say go ahead and cut the helmet out of the, off of the sprue. And that is going to be numbers four and five. And put the head inside the helmet and glue it together before you put the head on. Now, in the rest of the video, you will see the head glued on to the model without the helmet on. I figured this out halfway through putting the model together. And so I wanted to go back and fix that so you didn't do the same thing I did. So with that being said, go ahead and cut the head out as well as numbers four and five and the head will fit inside the helmet. It has little grooves where those pieces that look like ears are. Go ahead and glue this together and then you can glue the head onto the body with the helmets on. So go ahead and do that and then we will move on to the next step. With that done, we will go ahead and go to piece nine, which is his hand that is pointing. So if you look on here, you can see that little groove, and then there's a groove on his arm. So what you're going to do is make sure you get that groove, those grooves lined up, and it shouldn't move. You can move it back and forth, and it should kind of stay in place. So once you get that, go ahead and glue that together, and then we will move on. And now to the last piece of this part of putting Griff together, you're going to take his other arm, and as you can see, there's a groove in there, and then on his other arm, there's also a groove. So go ahead and connect the two, and this one should fit in there pretty easily. And go ahead and glue it together, and then we will get to the part that is pretty tedious on Griff. So go ahead and glue that on, and we will move on. So this is where people usually have a problem with Griff, and that is with the pieces right here. So as you can see, uh, you've got the bird here and then also you've got this piece here. So you're gonna take pieces 12 and 13 and those are gonna go together. So let's go ahead and 
cut those off the sprue, clean them up, and we will put them together. So here we have pieces 12 and 13, and as you can tell, it's going to be an eagle. This is the pretty easy because it just snaps in together. Um, the part that everybody has a problem with is putting the eagle onto Griff itself. So we will be getting to that shortly, but for now, go ahead and glue these two pieces together. As you can see, there are uh, grooves on the eagle wings and body, and then on the back, there is a little notch where uh, it will go onto the body. So go ahead and glue those together, and we will move on. Once you have the eagle put together, we will go ahead and move on to the helmet for Griff, which is also going to be the rest of his head. So that is going to be pieces five and piece four. So let's go ahead and cut out four and five, and we will clean those up and put them together. And with that being done, we can go ahead and cut out the last two pieces, which is going to be number six and number 11. So go ahead and cut the ribbon or the bow and the football out, clean them up, and we will put them onto the model. So we will start with the bow. As you can see, it kind of curves down. So what you're going to do is that is going to go on the back right in under the uh, bird's tail and right above the ribbons. So go ahead and glue that on and we will move on to putting the football into his hand. And now with the ribbon put on, we can go ahead and put the football on. As you can see, this has his hands or his fingers on the ball. So you are going to go ahead, dry fit it. You want the thumb to be above the shield or the plate that is on his arm and it will fit in something kind of like that. You will feel it pop in place. So go ahead and work with it a little bit and make sure you get it in place and it should pop in just like that. So once you have that done, go ahead and glue it together and then we will move on to what I have read is the hardest part of putting this model together. Okay, so I tried to bring this in as close as I could. Um, so you're going to see here on Griff's left arm on this side, there is a little piece that has a groove on the top of it. Now, here is the eagle. If you look on the back side of the metal, there is that little gap right there. So what you're going to do, and this is really tricky, and I hope I can get this on camera for you, is you have to slide the metal in front of that little groove to where the metal is resting against Griff's arm in that little uh, cut that is in the metal goes right in front of that little groove. So go ahead and try to glue that together. Take your time with this and we will see how it looks when everything is put together. And with that, Griff is pretty much done. All that we have to do now is base him. And as you can see, there are two little grooves in the uh, base here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put Griff right behind that first groove, and that will keep him on the uh, base so his feet aren't hanging over. So I will dry fit that and then glue them together, and we will be good to go with Griff. And there you have it. That is Griff done. I still need to fix one of the ribbons on mine because it broke off as I was dealing with the head and helmet. But as you can tell, Griff is done and ready to be primed and painted. So let's go back up top and I will give you my final thoughts on Griff. And there you have it. There is Griff Overwald done. And, um, yeah, he was uh, an interesting one to put together, to say the least. I had 
a couple of problems putting him together, but overall it wasn't the worst that I've put together. Um, I've put together quite a few KDM models, and some of those can be very tricky. So um, this one wasn't terrible, but it wasn't the easiest to put together either. Um, hopefully this video helps you out. If it did, please, again, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and um, let me know what you thought of this video. What can I do differently? Um, what do you like about it? What don't you like about it? Let me know in the comments, and let's talk about it. And the next video should be up, hopefully, in the next couple of days. My goal is to pump out the next few videos over the next week. That way you're not having to wait on them. So hopefully I will be able to get those done. Um, my goal is to do that over the weekend, so we will see what happens. But until next time, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Again, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think of these videos. Um, and yeah, until next time, thank you so much. Happy gaming. See you later.